Welcome to Empowered to Grow, the podcast. I am your host, Hanan al Basha, the business doctor. Following our conversations with empowered women who woke up one day and consciously claimed, I am more than enough, I am worthy, I am empowered to grow. And along their empowering journey towards realizing their own potential and their quest for growth, they became a beacon of hope and guidance for others. May you also find your inner power to grow. Hello again, everyone. This is Hanan Basha, your host. Welcome to Empower to Grow episode. Uh, today, I have the beautiful Anka Stefania with a very complicated family name. So we decided that I'll ask her to say it just so I don't want to mispronounce it. Anka, nice to have you. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here with you, Hanan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for accepting the invite. Um, Anka, you're a pleasure, wealth, and sexuality, or is it sensuality coach? Sexuality, but sensuality goes, goes, goes also it, very right? well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we delve into that, let me start by asking you, Empowered to Grow, the name of the podcast, what does this phrase mean to you and how did it resonate with you? Mm. In so many ways, I mean, like I am Romanian. I was born in Eastern European during the communist uh, era. And I think that due to my background and the fact that I've been traveling a lot and I met so many people, I understood that empowerment, well, in the last years is a, is a, is a concept that we kind of play and toss around, but yes. it's a very serious thing for a lot of, because a lot, of, a lot of the people in the world who are not as privileged as maybe we are, um, for them, empowerment is such a difficult concept to grasp, right? So empowerment to grow for me comes from my decision to rewrite the narrative that um, I was maybe given by birth, yeah, through the yeah. context that yeah. I was born in, the family that I was born in, the, um, yeah, like all the means that I was, that I was um, born into and just redefine that narrative and make it work. Um, with who I am and with my ever <laughs> changing personality. <laughs> I love that. And, and I agree, definitely. It is a, an evolving concept for, for me as well. And I think for everyone I speak to. Um, okay, from that perspective, then you are empowered to grow yourself and you're also empowering others to grow. Tell us a bit more about your story, please, and what you do. <laughs> well, I don't know where I should begin, right? Um, I think that uh, it was very important for me. So I believe that my greatest masters in this world were my parents, because my parents were the space um, and inside my family where I received a lot of conditioning about who I am and what I can do. And I was actually brought up with a very beautiful story where I was told that I can be and do whatever I wanted, right? Like uh, all my millennials, I guess. I guess. Um, and then I... I was excelling at studies. I finished university. Uh, me and my best friends, like the first, the first ones. And then when I when I went on the um, labor market, like I started working, and I I realized that it's not really like that. There is a glass ceiling, right, in in the construct of capitalism and patriarchy. And um, I started realizing that I I need to develop sides of myself that I hadn't been like my attention had never been brought to that right I was mm -hmm. I was um, I was conditioned to believe that I just need to um, be pleasing and get good good marks and just like um, follow the, the path that the educational system in Romania and France where I also studied wanted yeah. me right and then I realized that is not enough I need to develop uh, critical thinking and I need to develop a lot of my emotional side um, so the story kind of started there and I, I started with my parents because in in, in Romania and maybe it's all post uh, Sovietic uh, societies and maybe it's actually broader in the, in the world the victim mentality is uh, quite prevalent and a lot of people feel that they are trapped in, um, yeah, that, that they are trapped and that, that they can't really go beyond um, what they've been actually told that they can that they can do. And for me, I just didn't want to accept that. And I and I realized that I needed to I needed to save myself. That I needed to stop waiting for the savior outside, and I needed to take ownership and radical responsibility for who I am, for the way that I feel inside my body, for the way that I show up in relationship to other people. So the story kind of starts. 
And that led you into your career or what you, you're doing now, which is basically empowering others even within their own body. Mm -hmm. um, it, I think that everything that I've been through up to this moment culminated with where I am now professionally. Um, I am a coach. So uh, for me, the, I have four master degrees and I speak five languages and I lived around the world and I studied and I worked in different, I, I started with marketing at the, at the basis. And, and the, the um, <laughs> I would call it technical, like hard, the hard skills that I acquired through my education and through my experience in digital agencies were a very fine and quite free um, basis for mm -hmm. what I wanted to be as a, mm -hmm. as a professional. I don't, I don't particularly consider this a career. I just, I just feel that I am who I am inside and, and the way that I support people um, in their becoming more authentic and just true yeah. to who they are is coming from me being who I am and me having integrated and having done a lot of work. And then of course I studied a lot and I did a lot of certifications, but all these things, they, they weren't interesting in, in, in what I gained as knowledge, but in who they shaped me to become. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I feel that, I, I don't know if I empower people. I, I think that what I do is to really draw the attention that, that they are their own masters, that they mm -hmm. are, their own saviors that we are and that um, there is nobody else who can really do the work or help you or show you what you should do because we are sovereign and that's yes. terrifying and also really beautiful. That's true. And, and that's, that's the basis of self-empowerment is understanding that yes, you could need the, the guidance, you could um, use with some tips, um, tactics and strategies, but at the end of the day, it's your responsibility and you're accountable to yourself to, to use everything you are learning and everything you're experiencing to, you know, kind of bring yourself out of it and, and into the world. Yeah, yeah. And so and I, I, I want to comment on that. Um, for me, what, what became really, really important in maybe in the last years or so was to understand that, that I am a part of a living organism and, and I, I, I decide just like everybody else, whether I want to be an agent of positive growth and, and I want things to blossom around me and to nurture yes. people and things, or I want to go into the destructive energy. Um, mm -hmm. And this radical responsibility brought me to understanding that it's not only about me, it's really about what I transpire into the world by being who I am and by making, for example, service uh, and, and, and compassion um, while I am really clear about my boundaries, <laughs> um, yes. but making this my North Node, yeah. I love that. So from where you stand today, what advice would you go back and give your 19 year old self? Wow. <laughs> My 19 year old self, I would just like really hug her and I would tell her that I'm so proud of her and that there is absolutely nothing that she needs to do, that everything is going to unfold for her. Um, and I guess I would tell her to start with therapy and coaching. <laughs> sooner because I started yeah. a little bit later in life. <laughs> I think if we all go back, we, we should be giving ourselves that advice. But again, it's never too late. Yeah. So, okay, then the other end of the spectrum, your 90-year-old self, your 90-year-old self, what would you like her to thank you for today? Mm. I would like her to thank me for making really brave choices that were maybe not really socially acceptable and for opening, opening possibilities in other people's minds just by me playing really full out into, mm. into my life, yeah. I love that, I love that. Okay, last question. You're on the stage and you're talking to tens of thousands of women and the topic is about being empowered to grow. What would be that last message you leave them with? Hmm. Uh, this 
really brings tears to my eyes because I, I really wish for women to, to know how special they are. Mm -hmm. and what a beautiful source of creation we are and how our bodies are sacred and we are so worthy and and we have the potential of creation within our womb and that potential of creation just comes to life through our intention so i would i would really really like women to know that um once they they peel off the things that they've been conditioned to believe that they need to be and they need to strive for. There is a very sacred and, and profound truth. Mm -hmm. And if, if they are able to just follow that and indulge and relish that and, and really be so proud and so loving towards themselves while they do that, I think that's, that's a winning. I love um, that. Philosophy, yeah. Oh, I'm getting emotional too. <laughs> It's, it's again, it's about appreciating your own worth and understanding that you are beautiful no matter what. And you are powerful and you are, as you said, you're sovereign. And I think that's yeah. the beautiful message to bring across. Okay, Anka, thank you. This has been an emotional ending to this episode, but um, where can our viewers and listeners find you in virtual space? We're gonna include your links, but I would love for you to um, say them as well. Yeah, I mean, like the, the space where I now share most of the of the things um, is my Instagram, which is my full name with <laughs> my very difficult, my this is very difficult. To, to, to <laughs> yeah. hear your name without Sorry. me trying to destroy it. <laughs> Surname, but it's great that it's going to be a link, so I don't need to spell it out. And then I have a podcast. Um, it's called the Healer Hub Podcast. And uh, people can find it on Spotify. And I, just like you, I really love co-creating with beautiful humans and yeah, like bringing more magic and more love into the world. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Anka. Thank you for sharing your pure energy with us. And this, this has been uh, soul lifting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Hanan. And um, really appreciate everybody tuning in. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Well, you've heard it. I think we have the power within us to be as authentic as we can, to um, take responsibility and accountability for bringing the best of us to the world, and more importantly, to understand that we have it within us. We're not looking outside, we're just going inwards more and more every day. As always, I wish you love, abundance, and prosperity. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Empowered to Grow podcast. For further engagement with a tribe of empowered women, join my Facebook group, Empowered to Grow, or visit my website, www.hananelbasha.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, know that empowered you empowers others. Love, abundance, and prosperity to you all.